Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another reading for the sign of Scorpios. For those of you who have Scorpio in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. So thank you for watching. I'll jump into this reading. So to outline this reading, we have Release Your Ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. And we have unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have, you deserve love. It says you are lovable. Right, so release, release your ex, unrequited love. And you deserve love. So that's the messages for this reading. So I'll lay out the tarot. Tap into the energies. Surrounding this situation, let's see what these messages are pertaining to. What does spirit want you to know during this time? What we should be aware of? Okay, we've got the uh, Four of Cups, we've got Queen of Pentacles and we've got King of Cups. So I'm going to clarify these cards here. Dig a bit deeper into this situation. Page of Pentacles, we've got the Five of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse. So further clarify, we've got Two of Wands and uh, Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh my God. Right, now that I've laid out the cards here, yeah, you got someone coming back, Scorpio. It looks like an ex. Someone that uh, you may have been in a relationship with or you had a situation with. Whatever it is, they're coming back. Two of Wands, Four of Cups. Yeah, we've got the King of Cups here. This is Scorpio energy or could be Pisces or Cancer. So they're coming back. This is someone that hasn't let you go. Clearly they haven't moved on from you, it looks like. But, um... I'm not getting, um, good vibes from this reading here. This person, this negative energy around this situation here. It's too much negative energy. We've got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, all in reverse. Like, there's no new beginning here. <laughs> this looks, I don't know, I just feel like... This is, yeah, it leads me to this. I feel like this is a situation you should release. I feel like they're coming back around, but... This message, this message says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah. It does look like this is an ex that you, uh, I don't feel like you're um, open to like rekindling with or starting anything new. Yeah, we've got unrequited love here. This is an unrequited, there's unrequited love in this situation. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's not enough. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't know uh, who this ex is or the history that you guys have, but um, I feel it looks like they want to. Um, they want another chance with you. They're gonna. I don't know why they're coming back. I really feel like they're coming back. Because it looks to me, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. It looks to me that you're doing well for yourself. Whoever you are, man or woman, male or female, you embody this Queen of Pentacles energy. So that shows me you're someone that's focused on, you know, your stability during this time, your career, your finances. And not only that, but you're doing well. You're doing well. 
you're making progress. I mean, Queen of Pentacles, that's a, that's a high status here. So wherever you're focused on, your stability financially is improving, it's doing well, you're making progress. I feel like you're doing a lot better than whoever this ex is. You're doing a lot better. You've made progress here. And uh, I really feel like this is someone that thought that... Uh, you guys will be back, would return back together. This is someone that thought you would return back to them. I really feel like this is someone that was waiting for you to return back to them. Like you guys broke up and maybe it was a situation where, you know, you guys was on and off. You would break up, but then get back together again. You know, it may have been like that in the past, but I feel like, uh, the last breakup was the final one for you. But this person, somehow, they still uh, was uh, thinking that you're going to come back again. It's just going to be a continuous on and off situation. And you guys, that's just how you are. And it's just going to keep going like that. But I feel like you stood your ground this time. Yeah. Yeah. The last breakup was the final one for you. You stood your ground. Yeah, because we got you deserve love. It looks like uh, you probably grew fed up with this situation with this person. Maybe your feelings changed. Because it doesn't... I feel like you weren't getting the love that you deserve. You may have felt like you weren't getting the love that you deserved out of this relationship you had with this person. Yeah, unrequited love. You weren't getting what you deserve. You know you're lovable. And this person... I mean, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This is someone that's a manipulator. Emotional manipulator. This person was probably um, gaslighting you, I feel. You know, making you feel like... Um, you're going crazy. I mean, there may have been certain issues in your relationship you may have tried to deal with, and this person would just lie. They would gaslight you, sweep things underneath the carpet, you know, sort of thing. Just don't want to deal. But these issues uh, will just remain un unresolved. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that doesn't want to take accountability, and I'm. it looks like um, their return... Is uh, yeah, we've got five of wands. Their return is just gonna cause arguments. I feel I don't know if this person is just coming back to argue with you because it looks like you know, like I said, I feel like you're doing much better than this person at this point. Um. I'm getting a lot of negative energy here. Jealousy. I'm getting jealousy here. Like this is someone that's jealous of you, jealous of your progress, your success. Because they're coming back and they're in their feelings. King of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person's emotional here. Hey? This person is emotional. And it looks like they're in a place in their life. That they're not happy in. Two of Wands. I'm getting that this person, you know, they feel stuck. There's there's some sort of stagnancy surrounding this person I'm getting. There's a lot of blockages here in this situation, in this person's energy. And I feel like they're, they're unable, they're, they're unable to move forward in their life, in certain areas of their life. And Whereas you're making that progress that they're unable to make because they got a lot of blockages. You know what I mean? They're dealing with a lot of internal issues as well that keeps them blocked, keeps them from moving on. Whatever it is, whatever this person's problem is, I feel like they just want to um, keep you blocked as well. They just want to keep you stagnant too. I, this is someone I feel that's miserable and miserably, misery loves company misery loves company I really feel like you should uh, 
stay focused on yourself, put yourself first. I really feel it doesn't look like this person really has your best interest at heart. I really feel like with the Ace of Swords in reverse, there's this conflict in this situation. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it just looks like um, yeah, lack of progress in this situation. There's a lack of progress. I mean, I feel like they want another chance with you, but it doesn't look like you're on the same page with this person. This ex, I really feel like you have really moved on. You've let it go. You've released this person. You may, you may have made peace with it as well within yourself. You've moved on. You've healed. You're focused on something bigger and better. You're focused on bigger and better things. This person's focused on you. Your ex is focused on you because you're winning. You know, because you're winning and that's all it is. I feel it looks like they just want to come and just uh, cause trouble. Bring trouble and strife in your life, you know. Misery loves company. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. This person just doesn't want you to uh, be happy without them or something. Yeah, let me pull some more cards, get some more insight here. And let's see what our spirit wants, uh, wants you to know, what else you need to know about this situation, about this energy coming in here, because... It just the the energy just looks um, negative to me. This person carries a lot of negative energy. This is a karmic, yeah. This is a karmic ex, definitely. And you know, this is someone that's still stuck, stuck in the past, I guess. Yeah. What, what do we need to know? We have telepathic con connection. So you may have a soulmate connection with this person. We have telepathic connection. Maybe they're trying to connect with you telepathically. This is someone that's trying to connect with you. Yeah, maybe through music or... I feel like you're an empath. I feel like you're an empath. You could probably pick up on this person's thoughts and feelings, their energy. Yeah. But it's negative energy. I don't know. The energy is all negative. We have you change me. So I feel like you you are inspiring. I feel like you have inspired this person to change, to want to change. Because maybe they're going through some sort of awakening here. I mean, we've got the four of cups in reverse. There's a lot of stagnant energy between you and this person. Things wasn't moving along. I feel like, you know, this person may have been, you know, manipulating this situation you know, emotionally, really, holding back their feelings, holding back from you, holding back the truths. Here, yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse, yeah. But now, it looks like, yeah, there's been some sort of awakening here. This person just, yeah, realised something here. Maybe they realise that you're never returning back to them. You know, they may be waiting for you, but they realise they're waiting in vain here. You're actually moving forward and you're making, and you're successful with it as well. Like, damn. What else we got here? Paying for spell work. Witch doctor. My day. So for some of you, this is someone that's really been trying to block your progress here. I feel like this is someone that may have been, um... Trying to put spells on you to, for you to return back to them. This is what I'm saying. This is someone that tried to manipulate your energy here. They tried to manipulate your emotions, manipulate the situation. Because this is why things were stagnant here. Because this is someone that was deliberately holding back, suppressing their feelings, their emotions, whatever, to manipulate you to want them. To return back to them, you know, to make it look like you're the one that can't live without them. <laughs> they were doing the most. This ex is doing the most here. Their spells ain't working. They were wasting their money, it looks like. Poor thing. Whoever was paying for spell work, their money has been wasted. They got, they got conned, I'm getting. This person got scammed out of their money. Their spell work didn't work. It backfired because this is the one that's in 
They're the one in misery here. And you're the one. It actually made you more successful. So, in a way, their spell work, whatever they pay for, it worked in your favour, it looks like. <laughs> it didn't work in their favour. They got scammed. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh. But people do crazy things, man, just to, you know, for for control, you know? This person tries to control you and your, your, your destiny, your life, your progress. Try to keep you stuck on them or something. And it backfired. They're the one stuck on you and you're the one focused on moving forward here. Yeah. What's this? Secretly engaged. Married. So this is some. For some of you, this person is engaged or married secretly. It's a secret. You may not know. You may not want you to know. But it looks like, yeah, whoever they get got engaged to or married to, they're not happy with them. They're not happy. They're really not happy with them. This person's still focused on you. They made poor choices. This is someone that made poor choices. Yeah, we've got unwanted pregnancy. So they have a, there's a situation where someone's pregnant here. Oh, they got someone pregnant. I mean, this looks like someone that probably sleeps around here. Oh, my God. Sleeping with a transgender. So, yeah, this is a masculine energy that's probably um, bisexual, I'm getting. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, yeah. This is someone, um, you may not know their sexuality, but this is someone that is open to sleeping with men, both men and women, transgenders, they've slept with a transgender, maybe they didn't know, for some of you this person may not have known that they slept with a transgender, <laughs> and then for, for others of you this person does know, and this is and this is their um, fetish I'm hearing, yeah, one of their fetishes, we got angry, they're angry, anger issues, yeah, a lot of negative energy, this ex is going to come back and just to cause um, trouble and strife in your life, because you're, you're doing good and you're doing well for yourself and they're hating, they're jealous, they feel left out, they feel left behind, you know, <laughs> this person's angry, this ex is angry, they're just coming back because they're just bitter, really and i feel like if you have been struggling you know to move forward here is because this person's energy yeah they have been sending you negative energy trying to keep you blocked because their energy blocked they this person's unable to move forward they remain stuck i feel like i'm hearing that this person um has remained uh stuck in the same position that you left them in However you left this person, they're still in that position. Nothing much has changed. Nothing has progressed for this person. What else we got? Oh, they're facing deportation. For some of you, this person is an illegal immigrant. They need to sort out their papers. So, yeah, this is why they're unable to move forward in their life. Yeah, so this... <laughs> yeah, they, they stalk you, stalk your social media. Yeah, yeah. This person, I mean, they're coming back. They they want to work things out with you or just try to be relevant again, it looks like. That's all it is. Because I feel like you've forgotten about this person. <laughs> they're trying to be relevant, I feel. This is why they're coming back. Because they feel forgotten, left behind, and you're moving on. But this person has issues. Like external issues, they got not only internal issues, external issues as well that will keep this person blocked and stuck from moving forward. So, this isn't this karmic situation is just not for you. This person just keep you blocked. Just, if you release once you release this ex and release this situation here, things will the energy will be cleared. I feel, yeah, all the negative energy will be cleared and things will happen for you much quicker much faster i feel your blessings will come through more quickly i feel yeah definitely oh ancestors yeah your ancestors is all over this they are protecting you during this time because they know this x this karmic x is coming 
Yeah, and uh, they don't have good intentions here. So you are protected. Your ancestors are on standby, waiting for this negative energy to come and try it, you know? You know, yeah, they're waiting for them to come and try it. Because I feel like your ancestors, you know, already is making this person go through hell, I'm hearing. I heard hell. This person's going through hell. Someone's going through hell. Yeah. Because this is someone that tried to put spell work on you. They're trying to manipulate you. They try to, you know, slow your progress, block your destiny here. You know, this is someone that's hating, they're jealous and bitter. Because nothing ain't going good for themselves. Yeah. But they're putting all that negative energy on you. And all you're doing is trying to look out for yourself here. I really feel like you don't even focus on this person. I feel like you've even forgotten about them now. You've moved on. Yeah, you deserve love. So whatever this person has been doing to you, you didn't deserve it. Yeah, all this negative energy... You don't deserve it, it looks like. And this is why you're highly protected, you know. And this person, they're going through hell. Because they've got to sit there and watch you progress and be successful and uh, and receive all the wonderful blessings, you know, from the universe. Because you do right. Divine powers always work for you when you do right, you know. Yeah. So to close out this reading, we have further messages here. We have love calls. So yeah, expect to hear from this person. This karmic ex, if you haven't already. But they are going to reach out. Yeah, thinking of you and letting you know someone expresses love, a message of love. They're going to reach out somehow, message or phone call. Yeah, expect to hear from them. Yeah, because they're, they're going through some awakening here. They're realising you are not returning back to them and you're moving on to bigger and better things. we got not today. So, yeah, I really feel like this is, yeah, this is someone that... It's unrequited. I mean, you just don't want to deal with this person, you know? Avoiding conversation. It says avoiding conversation, cool person, boundaries. Yeah, you got your boundaries up here. This person's still angry, yeah, they're hurt, and they're just coming to, uh, yeah, bring your energy down to misery loves company, yeah, not today, because there's five of swords here, so there's going to be, con there's conflict here, I mean, I feel like you really are going to shut this person down, you guys don't agree here, they want another chance, but you don't, I don't feel like you want, want another chance with this person, you're done, yeah, girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Yeah, boundaries again. Yeah, you're done. You got your boundaries up. We got the snake. You're dealing with a snake here. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, this is someone that's married or engaged. Yeah, they're trying to be clever here, malicious. Yeah, this person... They're not to be trusted here because they've got some dark energy on them. Yeah, ascending, because you're ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase. Yeah, you're ascending. That's what I'm saying. You're leaving this person behind. Uh, this person is like eating your dust, I'm hearing. <laughs> eating your dust. Uh, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on. Happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah, this, this is what it is. This is what it is. They hate it. They can't stand it. You're enjoying your, your single life and they're watching you. They're stalking you. We have sunglasses here. Addiction. They're obsessed with you. Codependent. Oh, my gosh. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. So they are coming to love bomb you guys. Yeah. They're going to tell you, they're probably going to tell you things that you want to hear. They're trying to do whatever they can, you know, to be relevant in your life again. Yeah, but it's love bombing. This person hasn't changed. They're still a narcissist. They still haven't changed. So it's going to be the same old, same old. So yeah, release your ex. Keep moving forward. Stay focused on your goals. Do not entertain this person, you guys. So I hope this reading helps. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back again real soon.
Bye for now.